forget that we're in the middle of a test! That's exactly why I'll kill the guy! Absurd! More appeal! Enough talk! Die! Hello everyone, and welcome back to the channel for the unboxing, and today we have My Hero Academia, Ben Presto Warfare Coliseum, Superstars, Peace, Bakugo, and this is the two dimension one. Now there is four variants of this, we have the brush, the anime, the tones, and the two dimension, which is what I got here. Now this piece will go very well with All Might, two dimension, and Isoku Midoriya, two dimension as well, which we'll see that in this video as well, uh, the comparisons. So sit back and relax and enjoy this unboxing. Here we have the front of the box, and we also have a picture of Bakugo in the front cover, basically how the figure is going to look like. Here we have one side of the box, and there's the four variant. We have the brush, the anime, black and tone, and the two dimension. Here we have the back of the box, the other side of the box, the top of the box, and lastly here we have the bottom of the box. Alright, so here we have the stand that goes on the left foot of Bakugo. Now, of course, you don't really need it, but just for safety, I will use it. It is a regular stand that will go on his left foot just for support. Here is the lower body of Bakugo. So, first thing first, in the lower, you see his two boots. Good coloring, good shading. Now, I do want to say the shading is not the best. I think it is not that great as like Omai oh or Isuku Midoriya. But there you can see some shading. It's beautiful paint though, paint job that they've done. Very detail on his uniform. Uh, there you can see some shading though, grayish and blackish color. But the shading is not a lot like in the other uh, two dimension of My Hero Academia. Here we have the upper body of Bakugo. There you can see his two gauntlets that he has on his arm. Very well detailed on those gauntlets. There you see some shading on his body, some muscle as well. And then on his back, there's really not that much of the shading there. But I do like that detail that they put on his back. They did very well done. Now his face looks really nice. It does represent Bakugo, especially when he's angry. So it's a nice representation of him, uh, especially he's always angry most of the time. Very well detailed on the hair as well, on the face. Now his two hands, they showing his power, his quirk, the explosion. Very well detailed on those two hands. They see that two dimension and the good coloring, which is the thing that I like about this figure of Bakugo, two dimension. Those two hands that are showing his quirk. All right, and in the back, you're gonna see basically two holes, and in those two holes, you're gonna put this two antennas. That's what I call it. I'm not really sure what was the name or the actual name for this, but it is. Uh, these two little things that he has on his back, they, they put it separately so it won't write broken for those collectors that have bought this, which is a good thing. It does look really nice there, you guys can see the detail. It's not too much detail as uh, his uh, two hands, I would say, but it is this nice thing that they put separately and not put it all together because I'm pretty sure it will arrive broken. And there you guys can see how I'm putting it, which is just an easy part to put. You'll see by the way it goes. So one will go to the left and the other one will go to the right. So I got this figure from boxlaunch.com and the price for this figure was $65 and the height of this figure is 11 inches tall from the waist from the bottom all the way to his ear, uh, his outfit. Now if you don't count those ear you take it off then all the way to his head it will be 9.5 inches but the whole figure is 11 inches tall. Alright so let's talk more about this Bakugo 2 dimension figure and first thing first I do want to mention that the two dimension or manga dimension it's not that noticeable uh, compared to the other figures like All Might two dimension or Isoku Midoriya two dimension so I do want to make that clear now of course you do see some two dimensions here and there like on his body on his gauntlet on his two hands which will show his quirk there you see the detail is amazing on that part I think that's the most catcher basically if somebody passes by and see that figure they'll notice that two hands uh, looks very well detailed on it on his lower body you don't see that much detail detail just some of his like uniform you do on his grenades but it's not that much detail or the dimension shading that we usually see but nonetheless I like it yeah, I do like it overall uh, I feel like they could have done a little bit better but nonetheless I'm still fine with it and now on his upper body uh, I think it looks way better than the lower body two gauntlets once again definitely the two hands very 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 well done I do love how it's basically representing him angry and showing his quirk 
the explosion so very well detailed on that uh do like as well the two i want to say again antenna very well detailed as well uh and also very well done of having it separately and not together so it won't write broken the hair look, looks very well as well different shadings as well on the hair of bakugo and then his outfit looks nice on the upper body as well you have different shadings on his skin which does look nice and the face now the face i do like it it does represent as bakugo which is good but his face is basically facing up so it's kind of like he's facing up or in the ceiling if you would say not like facing straight forward to like a like Isuku Midoriya to dimension or all might so that's the only thing I don't like about the basically the position of the head I think they could have done more of facing straight uh, rather than facing like up now of course I do know the reason why they're facing it up is because he's mad or like angry or furious but mm, I wish they could have changed that or at least give you a different option of the head maybe like uh, replace the head to something else um I don't know if the other variant has that option. I highly doubt it, but that's my take on that. And only complain uh, how it's facing. Uh, I wish it was facing more forward than upward. But nonetheless, I do like this figure. I do highly recommend this for any fan of uh, My Hero Academia or any fan of Bakugo. Uh, especially if you're collecting any two dimension figures of My Hero Academia, then this is a must get. So here we have Bakugo next to Isoku Midoriya. I'm ready next to All Might Mega Dimension and this is how it looks like now of course the bakugo is way bigger than the sukumidoria basically the size of the figure and same thing with all might um, i do know this is the manga dimension all might not the two dimension one but this is how it looks like i do like it for me it's not bad but of course i think it'll look way better with the two dimension one and here we have bakugo next to sukumidoria two dimension and next to all might two dimension now here is how it looks like basically the two dimensions of my hero academia this is how i'll have it paired up with there you guys can see the size difference it looks identical to Sukumidoria, the bakugo and of course the oma is way bigger than both of them which is okay because in the anime or manga as well uh oh my is a bigger person and it's an adult compared to uh isuku and bakugo now I do want to mention that there is a new figure coming out as well and that's todoroki so we're gonna have the the three with the trio that we usually see and which is basically Bakugo, Sukumidoria and Todoroki. Lastly here we have Bakugo next to Funko Pops. We have Endeavor Funko Pop and All Might Funko Pops. This is how it looks like having them next to each other. If you collect Funko Pops then this is how it's going to look like next to this figure of Bakugo to the mansion. So there you guys have it. That was the unboxing and review of Bakugo to Dimension. I really hope you found this video helpful so you can decide if you want to get this figure of Bakugo. Like always guys, don't forget to give this video a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new, share this video with your friends, and then comment down below what you guys think of this figure of Bakugo. Thank you for watching this video. If you made it to the end, thank you very much. Like always, stay safe, have a great day, and I'll see you until next time. Peace.